All right, in this lesson we're going to look at particles. So uh, I've got a brand new intro to Particle World comp here with nothing on it. And we'll get started by going to Layer, New, Solid. And we'll go ahead and keep the black. We're going to name this guy um, Particle, Particles. And click OK. Now we've got a black solid layer. And I'll apply Particles. I'm going to come over to my Effects and Presets. If I start to type Particle, I can see the under, under simulation. We've got CC Particle Systems, CC Particle World, and Particle Playground. And these are OK. And I'm, we're going to look at CC Particle World. For people who are really into doing this a lot, then I suggest you look at this website, Red Giant's website, redgiantsoftware.com, and you can just Google this, but uh, Trap Code Particular. This is uh, an amazing um, plugin for doing all sorts of particle effects. And you can check out a video there, and you can also see video tutorials, and you can even do a free trial and check it out that way. So $200 for the academic purchase. For us, we're just going to use what's in After Effects, and we'll check out this CC Particle World. I'm going ahead and apply it, and you can see that it looks pretty cool. We've got this graph and uh, something spouting over here. If we uh, scrub through it, we can see that it starts at nothing and sort of ex explodes out. It's our default uh, particle world explosion here. And this little X area right here, or this little cross area, is the emitter. This is where everything starts to, to come out, is born. And then it has a life cycle, and then as it goes down, it, it uh, can go away. So let's take a look at some of the options here, um, what we have and what we can change. First of all, if we want to view the grid, we can, uh, we can turn this on or off to see the position or not. And uh, there's the grid on the floor, uh, subdivisions, let's see. We can also turn that off so we don't see the grid at all. Or we could use it to see it, to see a floor and, and actually position things on the floor if we wanted to work in the 3D space. We'll turn that off for now. Um, birth rate. So if we look at the options of birth rate, that's our next one down here. Um, as we increase this, there's going to be more and more of those little suckers born. So see, as I get way up here, there's a whole bunch of them that are born. And if we view this, do a quick, big explosion, big stuff going on there. And if we bring this way down, then not as much. Not as many of those little particles are being born. Okay, so that's the slider that we have right there that we can change. Now the longevity. So if we look at longevity, that's uh, how long they last after they come down here. So if we start to scrub this back, you can see that now they're dying off over here. If we watch this, it's like a little sparkler. So the longevity is only this little bit. We can make it even shorter here. Or stretch it out where it's longer. Okay, the next one as we move down, uh, producer. This is where this sits as far as its position in X and Y space. So if we uh, slide this along, we can move it along the X axis. And here we can move it up and down. And see, this will be nice if we actually moved it up a little bit. And then we can uh, adjust the longevity so we can see, yeah, there it's dying about there. As you can see, there's a lot of options under the physics triangle and uh, let me just point out the first one here this explos explosive is the type of animation and you can see you can change this to other options as well and here's fire we can move this down a little bit see it a little bit better Okay. Need some work to get that to look totally realistic for sure. But you've got all sorts of different options here. Um, uh, twirl, all sorts of different things that are possible here. Move that up so you can see that. Just a quick peek at this last one. And you can see it just goes on and on. So there are lots of options. Be sure to take a look at um, under the particle type as well. 
there's some great stuff in here and you can change the color of the of the birth color and the death color so if we wanted it to start off uh, white we could just change this to white and you see we get a instant update on that and that gives a whole new look so lots of different options you can change here under extras as well so there are lots of cool stuff to do with particles